So, you work in aviation or aerospace, and you have this really awesome colleague who you consider a role model, and you think she deserves to be recognized for her contributions to the industry. And your friend says to you, we should totally nominate her for an LC award. Not sure what that is? Stay tuned. Northern Lights Award, or the ELSI, is an annual award that honors outstanding women in aviation and aerospace in Canada. It was established by the Northern Lights Aero Foundation in 2009. The purpose of the award is to celebrate the achievements of women and to motivate and inspire other women to pursue opportunities in the aviation and aerospace industries. The award is named after Elsie McGill, a Canadian who is acknowledged to have been the first female aeronautical engineer in the world. She designed the Maple Leaf II and was pivotal in the production of the Hawker Hurricane in Canada during the Second World War. McGill also served on Canada's Royal Commission for the Status of Women. Despite having a disability as a result of polio, she went on to make very significant contributions for aviation and for women in Canada. Okay, so who can be nominated for this award? We are looking for nominees who have made significant contributions or have been role models in each of the following seven award categories. Number one, flight operations. Here we're talking about pilots. Previous recipients have included Lieutenant Colonel Maurice Carmichael, the first female commander of the Canadian Forces Snowbirds. Judy Cameron, the first female pilot to be hired by Air Canada and Brigadier General Lise Bourgon, a maritime helicopter pilot with the Royal Canadian Air Force. Number two, business. We're looking for owners, operators, entrepreneurs, managers, or administrators. Previous recipients have included Tracy Medby, President of KF Aerospace, Jolene Mahody, Executive Vice President at Chorus Aviation, and Heather Bell, General Manager of the Vancouver FIR at NAV Canada. Number three, government. This is for women who have made significant contributions or have been role models in aviation and aerospace services and programs provided through governmental departments. We're talking about regulatory oversight, policies and procedures, search and rescue, safety, air traffic control, military, medical, political advocacy, space programs. You get the idea. Previous recipients have included Catherine Fletcher, a Regional Director of Civil Aviation at Transport Canada. Dr. Sylvie Beland, a scientist with the Canadian Space Agency. And Colonel Helen Wright, a physician with the Royal Canadian Air Force. Number four, education. This category recognizes contributions for the inspiration, education, and advancement of women in aviation or aerospace as a teacher, professor, motivational speaker, promoter, counselor, or Researcher. Previous recipients have included Dr. Jill Oakes, an environment and geography professor at the University of Manitoba. Dr. Catherine Mavriplis, a mechanical engineering professor at the University of Ottawa. And Dr. Suzanne Kearns, an aviation professor at the University of Waterloo. Number five, pioneer. Here we're looking for a woman who was the first or earliest in any field of enterprise or progress in aviation or aerospace one who prepared or led the way. This woman can be honored in person or posthumously. Previous recipients have included Dr. Roberta Bondar, Canada's first woman astronaut. Rosella Bjornsson, the first female pilot for a commercial airline in North America. Major Deanna Brasseur, one of the first female fighter pilots in Canada. Number six, engineering. This category was the latest to be added in 2017. It includes engineers and aircraft maintenance technicians. Previous recipients have included Catherine Subaltzidis, the former head of research and development at the Algonquin Radio Observatory, Nilofar Marathi, an aerodynamicist with Pratt & Whitney Canada, and Lindsay Pointer, a project engineer at MDA. All of the categories so far have been about women who have made a contribution to aviation or aerospace over an extended period of time. 
The exception is the Rising Star Award. This award is for women between the ages of 16 and 30 who have demonstrated exceptional promise of leadership and contribution in any area of aviation and aerospace or in a volunteer capacity. Previous recipients have included Natalie Panic, a rocket scientist with MDA, Jessalyn T, a first officer at Sunwing Airlines, and Dr. Joelle Thorgrimson, a medical officer with the Royal Canadian Air Force. So, do you know an amazing woman who deserves to be nominated for an ELSI award? Awesome! Stay tuned for our next video about tips and tricks of a successful ELSI award nomination. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit northernlightsaerofoundation.com for more great content.